I think people that have changed the sport, I think a lot of the, in the past, I would say that um, they're quite... Um, f I forgot the word now. Sorry, I'll have to do this again. Controversial, that was the word, yeah. Whether you like it or not, I think Lance Armstrong changed cycling for everybody. I don't think we'd have the commercial interest or some of the teams would exist today without what he did over those seven years. I think it's, it is important the way we did it. I think, um, I think starting it as underdogs, I think that was always the best way to do it. I think people sort of wrote us off. It took a few years, but or you did it within five years and obviously we did it twice within five years. So it's, it was, um, it, you know, looking back, it was quite an incredible couple of years, really. And to think where it is now and where the sport is now and, and how how it's booming and how everyone's kind of can't get enough of cycling, really. And I think they were talking about it on Radio 2 the other day about how golf's fallen by the wayside and everyone loves cycling now. And uh, I think that's... Uh, if they're talking about it on Radio 2 in them terms, I think it's a good thing, so... The sport's been through so many ups and downs in the last couple of years and it, it seems like the sport always carries on and the popularity of the sport is never never affected by all the kind of scandal and everything else and it's sort of come to a point now where everyone seems to be on the right track and everyone seems to be pointing in the right direction and it'll be, it'll be nice to think when we get to 2020 that the last sort of what's happened two years ago will will be a distant memory and, and the sport will be better for it. That summer, not not just what I did, but what everyone on the track did at London, uh, what Mark Cavendish did winning the world title the year before that and, and getting to wear the rainbow jersey through 2012. And those sort of iconic pictures of coming down the Champs-Élysées in the yellow jersey with the British world champion behind us and winning that stage. And, and hopefully people will look back 20 years from now and, and the sport will have continued to grow and continue to be successful and that maybe that was the starting point for it all and, and that it wasn't just a, we won't look back and it will be a couple of, they were really good years for cycling and it's a shame where it's got to now. So I guess I guess in terms of legacy and that, that I hope the sport is as, as popular as it is now, 20 years from now. I think if I was ever going to win the Tour de France, it was only ever going to be with one team. As much as I love Jonathan Bowers and his craziness, um, I think this, you know, in terms of doing everything possible from the equipment front, nutrition, training, getting the best people in to look after me, getting the best team of riders around us, it was always going to be this team. So I think, safe to say, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have the, the Palmares I have today had Team Sky not come along and that group of people. So, um, yeah, I kind of say I owe them everything. But I guess um, in some ways they need the athletes as well. So it's um, it all sort of works both ways really. And I think uh, we all came along at the right time. And we've just been a a great team of people for, across the board really that's that's done this. So it just seemed like a natural. I think it really complements the the the, the demands of Roubaix complement the, um, the kind of training I've been doing through the winter in order to get ready for the track program. And also it gave a sort of a nice transition period with, with this team that I've kind of spent my most successful years with as a kind of nice, everyone get used to kind of not having me around anymore, which I'm sure a lot of them are pretty pleased about. Um, so it was, a, yeah, it's just sort of seems a nice time, April really. I can lead off from that into the Hour Record project and... Uh, and then we're kind of 13 months away from Rio, so it's, it all sort of seems to click together and um, I kind of like the look of it all.